uh, choosing the right flavor of Eclipse and installation of Eclipse. See first go to uh, Google and search Eclipse and go to the downloads. Okay, if you go to download packages, it will lead you to this window and you have to choose your operating system if it is Linux if you are using like Ubuntu or something please choose that then you will get the appropriate uh, Eclipse for that operating system and same way for Windows. So here uh, you can see that uh, Neon is the version name of Eclipse that is the latest version at, at the time of creating this video and there are many flavors are there. See, you have to understand these flavors are not different versions. They are all the same version that is Neon. So what is the difference? Suppose if you are developing a web application, then you have to go for Eclipse ID for Java E developers. If you are developing a simple Java applications, then go for uh, Eclipse ID for Java developers. Same way as Eclipse for Android developers, C, C++ developers, PHP developers, and you know, there are uh, different different flavors. Uh, let me give you a small uh, comparison. You see here, uh, Eclipse ID for Java E developer size is 299. Whereas Eclipse ID for Java developers is only 161 MB. Isn't it? So what is the difference? The difference is in the number of plugins which comes along with that flavor. So what they have done for Java developers since you will not be able to develop any JE applications. Uh, in this Eclipse, in this flavor, they removed all the plugins which are responsible for creating, you know, uh, JE, JPA, JSF and other applications. So as you can say it bit more lightweight than this one. But if you go for this, this includes what are the plugins, you know, uh, related for Java developers. And maybe few uh, plugins might have been excluded. So which one you should choose? Uh, should you go for Java developers? Should you go for JE developers? In future, you might have to develop a web application. So I would go for JE developers. You can download either 32 bit or 64 bit uh, based on your uh, operating system, whether it is 32 bit or 64 bit. And I would not be choosing neither this nor this. Instead of that, if I am to, if I am going to use Eclipse, then I'll go for uh, something called Spring STS, Spring Tool Suite. STS means Tool Suite. So just click on the first uh, link which you get in Google. You see there is an option called Download uh, Spring STS. Let me click on See All Versions. So there is a Spring STS available for Windows 32 bit and 64 bit, and same for Mac. Okay, and there is an uh, STS available for uh, Linux also. So choose the one, download the one which is most appropriate for you. And what is this Spring STS? Uh, it's simple. Spring STS is basically is a Eclipse itself. So what the Spring people have done, the Spring framework developers, they took the Eclipse because Eclipse is open source and they and they removed what is not uh, essential and they kept only what is uh, required for Eclipse development or they have added their uh, own plugins and few programs which will enable us to develop Spring application. So why not we choose Eclipse, why we go for Spring STS directly? Simple reason, uh, whatever you can do in Eclipse ID for Java E developers or Java developers pretty much most of the things 99% of the things can be done with Spring STS itself. So in future when you start with uh, Spring application development, uh, you'll have an option to choose either Spring STS or IntelliJ IDE. At that time you no need to what? Uh, download different different Eclipse and all just stick to the one which is highest. So that's the whole point of going for this. So if you go ahead and download this, uh, which is something I already have it here, I have downloaded that here, Spring Tool Suite. Uh, you would see a different name if you are in Windows or uh, Linux. Uh, what I want you to do is double click on that, you know, and extract here uh, using any WinRAR or any other software, which I have done here. I have extracted that. Uh, when I extract it, I'll see a folder called STS Bundle. 
So if you go inside STS bundle, there could be one or more folders. Uh, you will see something called sts.exe in case of Windows or just sts in case of uh, Linux or Mac. So just double click on that. Uh, what I want you to do is, I want you to go ahead and create an, what? Um, a shortcut for this. So I have the Spring STS in my uh, Java folder. I kept it, anything related to Java, I kept it in Java folder. So for this uh, exe file, create a desktop icon or uh, take it and move it to your taskbar so that you can launch it from there itself. So now when I launch this, it is asking me select workspace. So what is workspace? Workspace is something Eclipse, you know, uh, creates its projects and you, in that location you will um, put all our source code and all. So I wanted to choose a right uh, folder. Okay, so go to browse and choose something in the D drive or E drive or something. Don't keep your workspace in uh, what? Um, in the C drive because in case if any problem happens to your Windows or operating system, you might have to reload it at that time. Don't you should not lose the projects and all what you developed. So now uh, basically what I have done in my Vinayanova direct in my home folder, I have a folder called workspaces. Uh, in that what I have done, I have divided the things like this. Uh, some things related to JE, I all those workspaces I kept it inside. Uh, if I am creating a Java project, I in, in Java folder I have created some of the workspace like this. You know, uh, let me uh, select, let me create one new workspace. I'll call it as my workspace. Assume that we are doing this in some D drive or some other folder. I click on open and then say okay if you in future when you open STS or the Eclipse again uh, you may uh, want to choose this in your system so that it should not ask every time when you open which workspace instead of that it can by default it can open that workspace itself press ok so if you are uh, seeing this window that means you know you have uh, Eclipse uh, set up properly in this case uh, STS and again I repeat STS is also an Eclipse so you can close this dashboard we don't need that one uh, suppose if the window is looks different and you want things to be what uh, something like what I see here you can always go to your window and perspective view reset perspective view so say for example uh, you try to fiddle around and you add some mishap like uh, things are not properly organized now you don't know what to uh, how to organize them back so just go to window go to perspective view and view and reset perspective it will switch back to the original settings and there is one important point here you see this uh, there is something called spring has been selected here so if you are going to create a Java application, then uh, probably in the core Java, in the Evo class at Philite, you would be start using the Eclipse at that time. So I want you to click on this open perspective view. And here I want you to choose Java and then press OK. So the window is pretty much same, but it's slightly different. Uh, this will allow us to work on Java projects. Say, for example, what is the difference? So if I go to file new project you can see Java project but if I am in other perspective like spring if I go to file new I don't see Java project but I see things related to spring but in anywhere you can always go to other and uh, look for and what a Java project Java project and go ahead with creating the Java project even though so but it's more convenient. So if you have this much setup uh, done already, okay, then we are, you know, good to start with creating a Java project, which we are going to do in the next lesson.